everyone. I have another review for you. And I have partnered with this company a couple of other times. I'm going to have their videos either up here or down below. I've also made videos with items I've purchased with my own money. Those will be linked down below also. So this new brush set that I just received, it's from Faumi. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I'm going to list that right up here and have their in their information down below. They sent me the new Squirrel Hair Travel Brushes. Now the funny thing is, is I was about ready to buy this on my own, and then they reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to talk about this? I was like, heck yeah, because I was seriously maybe hours away from just ordering it. So that worked out quite nicely. This little pocket set here, it's made for traveling. It's $18.99. I think it's on sale right now, but I also have a code hunt that's going to get you 15% off anything you order. So you don't have to order these. You can, whatever you want, you can get 15% off. Uh, save yourself a couple of bucks, right? So this set is squirrel hair. You get three different sizes. Isn't this beautiful, this pouch? Look at that. Very pretty. Okay, we'll set this. This is what it looks like, a plastic case or covering. Ooh, you unscrew it, and this is the size four. And you screw it back in like this. This is nice. Beautiful. And this looks like wood. Yeah, it looks like wood to me. I guess it could be a plastic, a fake wood. No, I think that's wood. Yeah, that's real wood in there. I mean, it's got a nice, you'd think that this wouldn't weigh a whole lot. I mean, it really doesn't, but it's got a little bit of weight to it. That's just really pretty. All right. These are nice quality. Wow, very nice. Okay, so we have the sizes are the four, the eight, and the 12. As you can see, once you get them out of this little case, they expand quite nice full-size brushes. Somebody had mentioned that he would like to see me compare these brushes to some other popular ones. I'm going to do so in this video. I'm going to try to. However, some of the more popular brushes I don't really care for. I did just declutter a lot of brushes. I kept I kept a couple just for this purpose. So just take that into consideration. What I like might not be what you like um, and vice versa. But yeah, I'm going to compare the, these to a few other brushes, some of my squirrel quills, and then we'll do a little painting. I'm going to first just test out these brushes on my own, see how I like them, how they feel in my hand. Um, I'm going to be using my new uh, Kiritake set. Is this upside down? Of course it is. The review for this will be coming after this video. These colors are beautiful. I think they're going to just be fun today. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just having fun with these brushes. I'm excited. So I'm finding color inspiration for my little carnations that my family sent me. And that will be a whole nother video on why I got those. Stay tuned. Oh, this nice, this looks like a potter's pink, doesn't it? So here, and I know you can't really tell, I'm just wetting my paper and I'm seeing how much water the brush holds to really wet this down good. And you know what? I mean, it looks pretty good to me. 
So yeah, I'm just seeing how far it goes, how much water it picked up, a fair amount. I'm just gonna just play. I do a lot of wet on wet, so I wanna see how much color and pigment it holds. We're gonna move to our eight. Let's do this little darker pink here. And this is uh, just on dry paper. Now, to be fair, these colors have a lot of uh, substance to them in the first place. Nice. All right, let's go back in. A little water. A little more. These are very opaque, too. Thought they'd show up really good for the camera. Let's... My paper's getting pretty dry now, but it's pretty nice. I can tell that the smaller four is gonna get more use just by the kind of work I do. This is the paper I'm using, if anybody was curious. So, um, this is my absolute favorite watercolor brush. Put that in the mix. I know everybody likes these um, Princeton Heritage. One that everybody loves, but I do not like, is the Silver Black Velvet, eight round. This is a brush from a previous video, a number eight, same company. And then um, here is another Faumi brush. This is the Squirrel Quills that I just got. I'll throw that in the mix too. So I'm going to try my best to compare these so you can get a feel of how they all hold water and pigment. I don't know if I'm going to pull that off, but I'm going to try for you. I actually had to upgrade to a bigger piece of paper. All right, so let's start comparing. This is the Princeton 8. I'm sorry, this is a 6, and I'm comparing it to this 8 here. Um, I like the Princeton brushes. I do. I don't think, I think this is a synthetic blend here, so it's going to have a little more um, snap than this squirrel. I mean, the squirrel's not going to have a, it's natural. It's not going to have the greatest of uh, snapbacks, right? But I think it's going to hold a lot more pigment than this. As you can see, the Princeton is slightly small, smaller. Pretty equal. Gonna let them both drip off once. Okay, so what does this tell us? Our squirrel brush has a lot more pigment here that it um, released over the Princeton. Okay, so at least we can see that it held a lot more pigment. Now to be fair, this was a slightly thinner brush, but from up above you can clearly tell that this released more pigment. And I usually do a lot of wet on wet, so this is what's important to me. It may not be to you, but to me, this looks pretty good. All right, so up next is going to be the Black Velvet Silver. Okay, I let them both drip once. Now, the Prince, the um, Silver Black Velvet is a considerably more expensive brush. While those are doing their thing, I'm uh, 
just trying to compare. About the same there. They feel the same. Let's check this out. Like I'm doing my best to do the same pressure. I'm actually holding the squirrel in my left hand just to make sure I'm not overpressing to release more pigment. But it looks like to me that it held a lot more pigment than the silver black velvet. Which of course excites me because I didn't really care for that brush. Okay, here is my beloved Degado squirrel hair. I'm expecting these to be very similar. Oops, you can't see, sorry. So this one doesn't have hardly any snapback, and I don't know if you're supposed to do this test dry or wet. I'm going to guess wet because that's when you're using it. Um, yeah, if this, I mean, they both can be formed to a tip, but this is a little more snappy than my favorite brush here. I don't know what's going on with my paper, but clearly something is going on with my paper here. Now, I did notice that this one wicked away from the brushes a little better. I don't know if that has to do with the brush or the paper, but this one seems pretty equal. It might just be because this is buckled. Let's see, maybe I should have pushed that down. They look pretty equal. So it looks like my favorite brush has a new friend. Oh, up next, sorry, this is another brush from the same company. I did get a four because it looked when they got wet. This is slightly thinner, but it was the closest one to match the size of this brush. Oops, I keep doing that. I'm going to try to, I'm going to look up to see what kind of bristles the one in my right hand is. I can't remember. I think it was a natural haired brush of some sort. You can tell that this paint is a lot different from the other ones, or maybe just my paper wasn't as wet. This must have been squirrel, because we have almost the exact same thing going on here. Um, and yeah, these both come to a very nice point. Really, it would be your preference. Nice. This one's just fancier. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say. I know the set of these, and I'm going to put the prices up when I'm uh, editing this. You've got a lot more brushes, so this was probably the more bang for your buck, but this looks fancier. Just a personal preference, and I'm probably not going to go out and do some plein air painting and need travel size brushes, but these are just so nice looking. Okay, this might, I did compare the Princeton Heritage, and here's a Princeton Select. I like Princeton brushes. We get them in a lot of uh, boxes. This looked pretty even, a little more bristles, but um, I do like this brush, so I'm interested. Let me wet my paper. I'm gonna try to do price comparisons as I go along. Let's do some green for the stems that we see in front of us. Pretty color green. So these Princeton's very, very snappy thing. That I mean, it's going to be a lot better than this because this is real squirrel hair. I do like these brushes, so so um, let's check out what we got going on our paper. So I have some things to say about this one. Now there is a lot more pigment on the blob on my left, but I really like the way the Princeton held the color and it wicked away from the bristles. This is actually a tie in my book. It depends on what you are after. A lot more pigment on the paper. And I don't know if I can, can I show you that? Can you tell that? A um, little more pigment, but this one dispersed it a little better. Now it could be because this was my left hand and I wasn't keeping it as still as my right. And that could absolutely be the, the case. Um, this is not a perfect, comparison. But um, yeah, I'm going to say that both of these brushes were good. It would come down to price and what you're after. So there's that. So here is our comparisons. Um, there's a few of these brushes that are really good and comparable to this. So I mean, this is a very good brush though. If anything, I'm going to say it's better than the, it's better than your silver black velvet. 
I'm, uh, I'm assuming it's probably cheaper and nicer looking. This is just a looker for a brush, isn't it? Okay, well, I've got some artwork I've started. I'm still painting this hydrania up here. Uh, I'm going to do some work with these and show you a little bit of it. I'm not going to finish it because it's pretty, pretty involved. So I'm just going to show a little bit, probably some wet on wet with these beautiful brushes. And Okay, so this is a flower that I'm doing. I've already done my background and my leaves. I'm using um, the Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolor. I'm using the bigger brush to wet my paper. It seems to be holding a lot of water, so I went ahead. And this has a pretty good tip, so I can get in all these nooks and crannies with this larger size and not worry about it. It's pretty nice. I like it. This, these sizes, I think, would work very well for a traveling set. A lot of times when I do a weird background like that, well, this happens to be my favorite color, watercolor sprinkles, but I use something a little more permanent, like an ink, a watercolor ink or acrylic. So it's, um, I won't rework it when I'm working on my flower, but that's not the case at this second. So we got quite a bit on there. Now I'm going to mix my colors that I'm dropping in. I got that smaller brush because the large one one was really holding on to some pigment. So I'm going in with just some of the greens I have in the stems just to incorporate light colors up in here a little bit. These hydrania uh, flowers do have a little bit of green in the petals. Now I'm soaking up my puddles where I don't want weird little, you know, when you've got a puddle wet on wet, it just looks funny and it all runs there and you got a mess. So that's what I'm doing with this larger brush. I'm just picking up some water where I don't want it to pool too much. Okay, I think that looks pretty good for now. I'm going to wait. I'm going to let this dry. And that'll be a whole other day, me going in with details to make these flower petals. But um, yeah, I hope that you've got a good sense of what these brushes are like. I love them. I already know. I'm, I'm, I'm already keeping them out out in my everyday use container. Yeah, these are great, fantastic. Don't forget, I have a code HUNT. You can use it for anything in their store, anything. They have a lot of good products, go check them out. I really like working with them. They have some of the best brushes, in my opinion, for the cost. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you liked this review. If you have any ideas down below how I could compare brushes better for you, please, I'm all ears. Um, I'm open to any kind of criticism so I can make my videos better for you. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like my reviews, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!